more like so corporate. Is this a music video or a Hulko commercial? Dad, stop. A real artist wouldn't sell out like this. Ugh. They'd be all about the music. Actually, while artists are still making music, that is not how they make their money anymore. Nowadays, if you want to earn a living as a musician, you pretty much have no choice but to sell out. Cut! Lisa, baby, if you're gonna add another band member, you have to tell me. I'm taking five. Oh, great! <laughs> That'll give me time to explain. Can I get playback? Back when people were buying physical CDs, there was a ton of money to be made for the labels and for the artists. But the rise of streaming services like Spotify, Pandora, and Apple Music have changed the industry. In 2017, music sales revenue was just 60% of what it was in 1999. I'm super convenient, but I do not pay well. Every time one of their songs is played on Spotify, artists only earn around one-tenth of one cent. Cool, that'll cover my rent for the next three seconds. See, Jordan, this is why I support our local record store. Streaming is killing the music industry. Actually, uh, that's not true at all. Streaming may be screwing the artists, but the labels have figured out how to make bank off of it. When early internet services offered illegally downloaded music, everyone took a hit. But then the labels started cutting contracts, licensing their entire catalogs for streaming. And streaming is now their biggest source of revenue. While their profits aren't quite back to what they were in the 90s, they're bouncing back at a rate of $1 billion per year. The only problem? Artists are not getting a fair cut of those deals. Even Beyonce, one of the biggest musicians in the world, only makes 10% of her money off of music sales. Yeah, but she tours all the time. That's how a real artist makes their living, by getting out in front of the fans. Actually, unless you're as huge as Beyonce, it's pretty much impossible to make any money off of touring either. The top 40 live acts can make up to 80% of their income from touring, but everyone below the top 40 is lucky if their tours even break even. The tour was a huge success. Now, after we recoup all the production, travel, and crew expenses, you owe the label 20 grand. What? Since it's so hard to make money off of record sales or touring now, many mid-level artists these days can only earn a living by taking endorsement deals or appearance fees. You guys look great. Now just a few small adjustments. Jesse J has deals with vitamin water. Drink up. Pitbull endorses sheets, energy strips. Say ah. And tons of artists get paid just to show up at events. And not too much dancing. You need to save your energy for Justin Bieber's cousin's yacht christening. This is embarrassing. How can these artists even stand to look at themselves in the mirror? Maybe it's because they're trying to eat. Oh, I'm not stealing these. The director uh, uh, said I could have them. This is Open Mike Eagle. He's an indie hip hop artist, comedian, and one of my closest friends. Thanks for coming through, fam. Adam, I barely know you. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, though. A lot of fans want their favorite artists to be authentic. When it comes to making money as a musician, it's almost impossible without these endorsement deals and licensing opportunities. And truthfully, only the most popular artists get offered these things in the first place. Most endorsement opportunities go to more established celebrities, even when they barely make music anymore. In 2017, the highest paid musician was Diddy, thanks to his eight-figure deal with Ciroc Vodka. But he hadn't made an album in over seven years. <laughs> more like mo money, less albums, right, Mike? Sure, dude. Uh, the reality of working as a musician today is this. It took me nearly 10 years to make the same yearly salary as a musician as I did as a teacher. I don't know if I'd be able to make music professionally and eat without additional streams of income. It all goes into building my brand and it helps me be able to make a living. In a perfect world, artists would be paid fairly for making their art. But unfortunately, that's just not the way the music industry works. Oh shoot, I'm late for an audition. Your boy's gonna be the face of Hulk Pizza Scones. But that's bull. Music shouldn't be so commercial. Ugh, F the industry, F the Hulk Pups and the, and the labels and all of it. Ugh. Dad, what are you doing? Okay, the Zyda Pops are trying to cultivate more of a mid 90s vibe and trashing the set is so early 70s. And 
we've reached the end of the video, which means you have two options. Option one, hit the subscribe and never miss another new video from Adam Ruins Everything ever again. Option two, start reading the comments and weep for humanity.